Hi guys, this is Aaron Rupp, and what we're going to do today is we're going to go over how to use our G76 for OD thread can cycles, okay? So, the things I want to focus on is I want to focus on my X, my Z, my K, my D, and my F. Now, there's a lot of values that we can use when making a thread can cycle, okay? But we're going to focus on just a few of them that's all we'll need to use to making our thread okay so of course the first thing we want to do is we want to focus on this this letter C right here okay so this C represents our clearance point all right so that means whenever I'm coming to my threads I want to be above the diameter that I cut so for example we'll be using a three-quarter ten threads per inch thread so a three-quarter ten so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna come up when I come up to it, my clearance point, I'm going to put at X 800 thousandths. Now keep in mind that is 50 thousandths above where my threads start. That is a bit excessive, but that's what I'm going to do, okay? So I want to make sure everything's nice and clear. The reason why is because if I went right to three quarters of an inch, 750 thousandths, and for any reason I had to lower my wear offset to be able to get where I need to be, I would do a feed rate pass and then when I came back up for the rapid I would come across the top of my thread so I don't want to do that all right so my clearance point will be 50 thousandths above the diameter of my threads so let's go over and find out how we're going to format this so of course my x value is going to be the finish point it's going to be the minor all right so my z will be how far back my thread goes in my program okay my k will be the thread height in the radius value all right and I'll, I'll show you guys how to figure that out also the last thing I have okay I have my depth of cut which is my D and then my feed rate okay so my feed rate there's a certain way to calculate that because it's not just any feed rate it has to be the correct feed rate okay it has to advance a certain amount of feet, uh, threads per inch and we'll find that out all right so what i'll do we'll come over here and i'll show you kind of an example of what this looks like all right so on here get rid of that so on here i have a sample program of what this looks like and what i have on there is my clearance move okay so it's actually going to come up 850 thousandths and I'm an inch in front of the part okay but then right after that they're moving in 200 thousandths okay so I am 50 thousandths above the top of my threads and I'm 100 200 thousandths in front of it okay so at that point in time my tool is right about there okay so now when I execute my G76 what I'm going to be doing is I've got my X okay my X is my minor diameter of the threads okay I have my Z which is how far back it's going I have my K which is the height of my thread radial value okay and then I have my D for the depth of cut and my F is the feed rate so how I would find that feed rate would be one divided by the threads per inch and I'll show that to you here in just a second all right, so that's an example of what's going on. So that way it'll come across, come back up, go back, and it'll just keep taking 12 thousandths depth of cuts until it reaches 38 thousandths, okay, on the height of it, okay, which will put me right at 674 thousandths. So looking at that, let's go to my program, okay? Let's see if we can draw this up. So what I'm looking at is I have my threads here. Okay, then I got the bottom side of my threads as well. So right here, when I'm programming this, so you guys have the understanding of what goes on the G76 line. Now I'm gonna show you guys how we find that information, okay? Like where's that information at? How do I figure that out, okay? So I'll come up here and I'll say I've got a G76. Okay, the first thing I'm looking for is my X. So my X is the minor diameter on my threads, okay? I'm gonna be doing, I'll come back over here, a three quarter, 
by 10 thread, okay? That's my thread I'm going for. 10 is my TPI, okay? So TPI, okay, is threads per inch, and of course, three quarter is my diameter, all right? So I have my X value. I need to know what that is. So we're gonna utilize our machinery's handbook. Okay, now if you look at this, there's a lot of information, okay? But we're gonna use it correctly. We're doing a three quarter 10, okay, 2A. See if I can come across here just right. Oh, almost. All right. So what I'm looking for is this information right here, okay? So my X is going to be this value right here. My X is going to equal the minor diameter, which is 629 thousandths, okay? So that's what I'm gonna put for my X. So if I come back over here, my X is going to be a positive 629 thousandths. Let's get this over here so I'm not leaning, all right? So that's gonna be my X value right there. So now what I need to find, okay, this right here is my X. So now I need to find my Z, okay? Well, my Z is gonna be pretty easy because my Z is just however far back I'm going. So the part I'm using is gonna be this right here, 3 quarter 10 UNC 2A. That's how we're, just, or how we're gonna find out what we're looking for. Okay, so with that being said, I'm looking for my Z. So I'm gonna take my threads a little bit into the groove, okay, not all the way. So I'm gonna say, if this is an inch back right here, an inch 500 minus 500 is one inch, I don't have to take my threads all the way to one inch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it back to about 900 thousandths, okay? So my last tip of my thread will be about right there. So I'll take a Z and I'll go Z minus 900 thousandths, okay? So now I have that variable in there. Let's go back to our page and let's see what else we're needing in here, okay? So I've got my X and my Z. Next thing I wanna do is I wanna find my K. Now remember, thread height, radius value. So what that means is, over here, I have this value right here. This is my K, okay? That is the radius value, because on the other side, I also have a K. I don't want the diameter value, I want the radial value, okay? So with that being said, I need to find out what that is. Now in our books, we have it a couple pages over, I believe it's page 113. You can find it in there, but what happens if you don't have that? So what we're gonna have to find out is what our major diameter, okay? Blue is gonna be our major, okay? I'll put it down here. Major diameter. X is our minor diameter, okay? So what I have to do is I have to subtract what the major diameter is from the minor, okay? So to do that, let's look at our book again. So when I make this part, if you'll notice, I have a major diameter and I have 748 thousandths and I also have 735 thousandths. So that is a range that I can make my, my major diameter to. So to do that, I'm gonna go with 745 thousandths because it's, it's kind of close. It's not right at the top, it's not right at the bottom, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back to my page over here and I'm gonna do 700 and 45 thousandths Okay, see if I can move that over a little bit closer, that'll work. 745 thousandths, and I'm gonna subtract my minor from it. And my minor is 629 thousandths. So what we'll do is we'll pull up our calculator. We'll go 
745 thousandths minus, okay, 629 thousandths equals 116 thousandths. Now remember, that's the diameter. We want the radius because I just want one side of it, okay? So I'm going to take that and divide it by 2. So my K value is going to be 58 thousandths, okay? So let's put in here a K. Let's get rid of that. 58 thousandths. Okay, so that's good. So now I have my X, how far back I'm going, my K, which is the thread height, and now we need to come back and we need to see what we're missing, all right? So I've got my K height, I've got my D, which is the depth of cut, okay? I want you guys to be using about a depth of cut of about 50, okay? I'll come back down here so you guys can see it a little bit better. I'll tell you what, we'll go ahead and erase this, all right? So now what we're looking for is D is going to equal our depth of cut. And I want to make sure I put a decimal on here. And we'll say 10 thousandths is what I'll do for my depth of cut. So next, I want to do my feed rate. All right. So my feed rate is pretty important because I need to know, put a decimal there, what that is. Now, to calculate my feed rate, I'm going to do... 1 divided by TPI, okay? So, I'll come up here, kind of right over here on the side. I'm going to do 1 divided by threads per inch, which is 10, equals... 100 thousandths that can also be found in your books if you guys need to use it all right so with that said come back over here that's gonna be my feed rate that's gonna be the last thing i need so i'll come back over here and my feed rate will be a decimal 100 thousandths that is that's all you need okay it seems like a lot but what we did was we identified the variables we needed and then we found out what they needed to be, okay? So for my feed rate, it's one divided by threads per inch, and then my K, okay, I'll write this as well, K equals major minus minor divided by two all right so that's going to be my k so now i have my feed rate my thread height my minor diameter and then i have my depth of cut so that's pretty much everything we need right here all right so let's look and see what this looks like when we actually run it so i'll run through this we'll get through the first couple tools Okay, I'll put my groove in there. Okay, so right now, I'm going to be going through and running my threading tool. Okay, now when I'm threading, I'm using the G97 for a constant spindle speed. Then, I'm going to come down here, and here's my G76. All right, I have 620 thousandths. Okay, it's just a little bit lower than what we had. I have 900 thousandths back in Z. My K, I've got 62 because I'm a little bit lower, so my thread height was a little bit different. And then my D, I'm going about 20 thousandths, and then my feed rate is exactly the same, all right? So what happens is I position myself, remember, we want to position ourselves above the diameter that we're about to cut so that we don't violate the top of the threads when we start adjusting for our wear. So I've got, 780 thousandths and I'm in front of the part and so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and hit execute and it will execute that first line of code now it's pretty fast okay so it's going down 20 thousandths every time until it's all done okay now notice it gets smaller because it's taking a smaller depth of cut as it goes down 
Okay, so now it's finished, and then it's going to go home. Okay, so everything that we have, G76, is going to represent the can cycle. All right, my X represents the minor diameter, my Z represents how far back I'm going, my K represents the height of the thread, radial value. My D represents the depth of cut, the initial depth of cut that does get smaller as you go. And I have my feed rate of 100 thousandths, okay? That's all you need on there, and this video shows you how to find that information, okay? So if you guys have any more questions, holler at me. Again, my name is Aaron Rump. Thank you for watching.